what's happening people back with a different sort of video today we're taking a walk down memory lane we're going we're visiting fifa 20 ultimate team just to look at how things were just to look at how life was two years back but yeah as we're counting down to fifa 23 i thought it would be a good idea as i went back to platinum fifa 20 just thought it's a good idea to just show off my team that i had in fifa 20 as you can see coin balance looks good looks healthy 100k in the bank um rivals wise i believe i was in i finished off in day four as, as you can see there's a positive win record now that is very hard to come by these days 621 wins 84 draws 583 losses now that hardly ever happens nowadays it's very hard to especially if you play weekend league it's very hard to keep a positive record but here's a look at my team obviously back in fifa 20 there was um fitness items squad fitness which you had to put on your team as they all had energy bars i'm so glad that got taken away but i usually used to i don't know why i did it but i used to run with two squads just because i hated using those um squad items but here we go here's my goalkeeper team of the year nominee allison bought for 75k um we got gold virgil van dyke 315k 252 games played two goals one assist this is my prem team i usually go with the prem and the la liga squad um just because they used to have all the best players at the time um i believe this year i did a hybrid for my second team but this is the prem one then we got player moments laporte player moments can't remember what that means but 186 games played one goal scored then we got headliner streak kyle walker very good design i love the design for this card um, 131 games played one goal scored four assists then we got team of the week moments i don't know what that i believe this is when the lockdown kicked in so 230 games played one goal 13 assists 13 assists not bad um team of the week moments i don't know why they didn't just get a team of the week i believe this is when lockdown kicked in and there was no football so they went back to moments then we got england midfielder gerard in cdm 232 games played 43 goals scored 29 assists it was a very good cdm if i remember correctly then we got prime icon moment zola again 88 games played 37 goals 18 assists i think i got him out of like an icon swaps pack or something i was very disappointed at the time then we got team of the season so far now that tells you it was locked down football stopped so they only did uh, based on past performance for the season 199 games played 68 goals scored 76 assists and there we have summer heat 91 james now this card was flames i remember it at the time 109 games played 20 goals got 33 assists but this card was flames people could not deal with him people hated playing against him look at the summer heat design as well similar to shapeshifters that was the thing back then then we got team of the week hing min song which i bought for 720 whooping thousand um, 138 games played 133 goals 92 assists so very good return on the card as you can see there i remember packing team of the year ramos and, he, and i sold him for a few million which is why i had the money to buy you know players like son this card literally carried me at times then we got fat champs aguero 91 striker um 378 games played 299 goals 220 assists so you know he's nearly got five more than 500 plus goal contributions there playing only 200 odd games that is crazy and then we got my second squad that i used to run with which is a hybrid of la liga and league league uh. um oh yeah just to point out quickly maybe not let's just get rid of oh we got arsenal team of the season on the bench haven't seen that in a while but just to let you know we also had big frank lampard on the bench too so we got gerard and lampard playing for the same club lampard obviously didn't get to use him 
only played one game with him. But let's take a look at my second squad. This is the hybrid of La Liga and League. Uh, there we go. Team of the season so far. All black, 96 rated. We got gold Sergio Ramos, bought for 70k, 251 games played, four goals, two assists. I did pack the team of the season, Ramos, which gave me all the money to build my teams. We got flashback player Eden Melissa. Look at the design of the card. I love it. 72 games played. Love the design of the flashback player and the whole pixelated designed card. Then we got team of the season so far, Quadrado. 65 games played, one goal, seven assists. And this is the worst of the bunch. UCL Marcelo. He, I used to hate this card. 435 games played, two goals, 21 assists. But look at that pace on the card. 81 pace. I used to struggle with the pace. And then we got FUT Champions Casemiro. 140 games played, 7 goals, got 15 assists. I'm not sure if that's his team of the season card. We got Fekir. Um, 107 games played, 46 goals, 36 assists. Um, obviously Fekir, I believe this is the season he moved to La Liga. Snub Liverpool. Then we got a mid icon Figo, 254 games played, 67 goals scored, 72 assists. Four star, four star. And then we got the goal in our left mid, Neymar Jr. Oh, first owner, oh, no, I didn't realize I packed Neymar. 358 games played, 138 goals, 117 assists. Can't believe I packed Neymar. Crazy. But yeah, this card is a beast. 5 star, 5 star, you already know, Neymar in a FIFA game, just broken, is he untradeable, no he's not, and then we got, obviously the the other goal, Kylian Mbappe, which I bought for nearly 500k, 304 games played, 273 goals, scored 188 assists, obviously still 89 rated at the time, crazy card, next to him we got UCL Cristiano Ronaldo 93 striker playing for Juventus which I also bought for 404k 114 games played 128 goals scored 65 assists so look at I actually pumped money into my team pumped real cash and back in the day you know all these cards were tradable and on the bench we got prime icon moments Trezeguet uh, 24 games played, 17 goals, scored 5 assists. I remember him being very clunky. He's a big block center forward up top. So, that's my team there. Oh, I've got some packs here. Let's open some packs. Just to remind you how pack openings used to look two years ago. Just a trip down. It's very nostalgic. And I love the music in FIFA. Whenever you go back to an old FIFA game, you hear the music, it reminds you of where you was in life back then. And you'll instantly recognize the songs. Love that about all FIFAs. First pack, nobody really. Look at those fireworks coming from the top. We got Wales, Center Mid, Juventus, got to be Ramsey. Yep, Aaron Ramsey, 83. Didn't really work out for him at Juventus. Couldn't win the UCL sorry Europa League with Rangers Eva missed the penalty should have never left Arsenal son last pack do we get someone decent nope but that's just a glimpse of how pack opening used to look in FIFA 20 now Let's take a look at my player stats overall. So goals, we got Aguero in the lead, 299 goals, 378 played. He's got the most goals, followed by Mbappe, 304 games played, 273 goals. Neymar, then Son. Neymar, look at Son, 138 games played, 133 goals. Then we got Cristiano Ronaldo, 128. Rashford, 68. Figo, 67. Fekir 46, Gerard 43, playing 232 games, then we got Zola at 37 goals, 
Dan James, oh, he should have had a lot more goals, in my opinion. This card was absolute flames. Trezeguet at 17, Casemiro with 7 goals, Ramos with 4, Marcelo with 2, Van Dijk, Podrado, Robertson, Laporte all with 1, sorry Van Dijk got 2, and then the rest. Let's take a look at assists now, and again it's Aguero, top assist at 220 assists which is crazy, his goal return is crazy. Mbappe 188 assists Obviously playing next to Cristiano Then we got Neymar 117 Son with 92 Rashford 76, Figo 72, Ronaldo 65, Fakir 36, James again should have been more, Gerard Marcelo, Marcelo 21 assists is impressive as a left back, Casemiro 15, Robertson 13, Cuadrado with 7 assists, Trezeguet with 5, Walker with 4, Laporte with 3, Ramos with 2 assists, Van Dijk with 1, and then we got the keepers let's take a look at top players these are you know everyone in my club obviously we got the usual suspect at the top look at that Jamie Vardy Jamie Vardy 54 games 63 goals 21 assists Gabriel Jesus 61 games 46 goals 44 assists Iñaki Williams 42 played 38 22 Rodrigo um, Bellotti, I remember Bellotti was quite, pretty good. Got Nani or Nani, whatever you want to call him, Giroud at Chelsea, Richarlison, Politano, Delaney, and so on. But yeah, that's just a little insight into my club obviously it must have sold a lot a lot more cards i don't think sbcs were a big thing back then there's still objectives going on but yeah this was the final team i don't know why i used to run with both teams if i combined all the money together could have built a super team here with some special icons but not a bad team you know FIFA 20 gameplay wise was probably the worst FIFA I have ever played and we got storyline Morales in the bench as well but FIFA 20 was a very bad game in general defenders used to tackle you by barging shooting was just one one ridiculous animation this is the worst you couldn't skip replays in this game gameplay wasn't realistic but guys thanks for watching and taking a trip down memory lane maybe i'll do the other fifa suit for now peace out